Welcome to the Absolute Roofing Repmo Basketball Pregame Show from Republic Tiger Sports. We'll look ahead at tonight's matchup and get you ready for tonight's game. And now, the Absolute Roofing Repmo Basketball Pregame Show. David Brazil alongside Coach Tim Brown for another conversation about Tiger basketball. 5-0. and I went back and looked at the records, and it's been a long time since Republic's been 5-0. and 2013 was the last time that happened. Of course, that was a state championship year, so a lot of success in the program in the years since then, but 5-0 and is an accomplishment. Yeah, I mean, you look at our schedule, and you look at it, you know, when years past, it's in, in our tournament, it, it's hard to be 5-0 and th- this time of year. So not surprised that it's not happened because we try to play a good schedule here, and, and especially in our tournament, the caliber of teams that have been in it. So it says a lot about our group. Um, still like our group, just a, a really fun group that's uh, pulling in the same direction. And I, I've said all along, ho- hopefully the highlights of our season aren't, aren't being 5-0 and to start. Hopefully we've got a lot of good basketball left to play. Coming off the tournament, and you've had some time off since your last game. Uh, coming off a win last week, though, as you look back at that one, what stood out or, or kind of jumped out at you that you were doing well that night? Uh, played a lot of guys. I think we got nine guys in um, that night, and all of them contributed and were able to do things, and that was kind of a goal of ours going into that game. Um, was able to get some guys back in uniform and, and get them acclimated again, so that, that was good. Uh, put a lot of points on the board, but defensively I felt like we did some good things, um, some individual assignments um, guarding their guy who scored 88 points in three games. One of our goals going into that was not letting him score double figures. and uh, It was kind of neat watching our guys take take those matchups personally and, and, and the help that they were receiving from their teammates. Um, so we was able to do some good things there. We were able to kind of change our defenses up and do some things that maybe we haven't been able to do um, just to stay crisp and, and, and fresh and polished in those areas. So overall, we felt like it was a good night. We came out and took care of business. You know, that, that, those are one of those games that can be a definite trap game after winning a tournament and going to a, a school that is very excited to play you in, in one of their games that's probably a bigger game for them. And I thought our guys responded well and came out and took care of business. Business. You've had a, a, like I mentioned, a layoff since then. Have you, when you've got a break like that, kind of middle of the season, although it's still early, are you implementing new things, consolidating what you've been doing, or how have you handled that time off? You know, it's definitely a combination. You know, obviously we wanted to make sure that uh, we're staying crisp, we're, we're, we're keeping that that uh, that timing and rhythm of the things we're doing really well and we're just kind of reviewing things and and making sure that we're ready to go here for this next stretch of of two games that we have before the blue and gold tournament and um, I think it was nice for us too we did have a lot of guys expend a lot of minutes in in a short week the week before so I think only having one game last week uh, I think it was probably good for us and we tried to take some extra time off than we normally would and I think this year especially you know I think that's going to be something that we try to do limit our time around each other to hopefully keep us in uniform more so just all these different things that um, maybe we didn't think in years past were were important and just really trying to be as proactive as possible to give our kids a chance so you've got two games this week Hillcrest on Tuesday and then Bolivar on Friday a couple of road games and um, let's just start with Hillcrest as you've looked at what they've done so far what do you see from them or expect from them uh, you know, they're a team that's uh, very dangerous. Uh, I watch them on film, and you can tell exactly what they're trying to accomplish when they're out there, and I think that's a sign of a team that's doing things right and a team that's well coached. And um, they run a lot of dribble drive offense, and, and they're going to shoot a lot of threes. They're going to shoot them early. They're going to shoot them often. Um, they're probably shooting the 20 or 30s of, of three-point attempts in the game so that's something that we're going to have to be able to keep the ball in front of us and make sure we challenge and then chase long rebounds and um, they're a team if they get hot they really get the rocking and rolling and and playing really good and hopefully we can we can get out and challenge those and rebound those and and have a good start especially with it being a home game for them so um, we're going to have our hands full they got a kid kid back who averaged 20 a game last year so you know we're going to see if our guys can they've done a good job of some of those individual battles we talk about on the defensive end we've had some guys really step up so it'll be a good challenge for us for sure whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle you know who to call in republic it's mike mansker and the team at absolute roofing give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com
Not only can Hines Street Pharmacy deliver prescriptions right to your door and often save you money compared to what you're paying at big box pharmacies, their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, and now they're offering curbside flu shots. Hines Street Pharmacy, experience the hometown difference. Henniger Chevrolet is proud we continue to serve Springfield and Southwest Missouri as we have for over 40 years. The Henniger Chevrolet family treat each of our customers like family and exceed every expectation, not only in the large selection of new Chevrolets on the lot, but also the quality of pre-owned vehicles to fit any budget. Whether you need a new vehicle, have your serviced, or need some body repair, pick Henniger every time. Find new roads in Republic or online at HennigerChevrolet.com. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast, but you also want one who'll do the job right. In the Republic area, that's far better plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call Far Better and let them take away the stress of your plumbing problem. Call them at 864-8703 or find them online at farbetterplumbing.com. Central Gas Propane is locally owned and operated and offers exceptional customer service when you need it most. They go the extra mile to meet their customers' needs with a level of service and communication that no other company can beat. Call today to switch and save Central Gas Propane at 417-725-3833 or online at centralgasmo.com. Well, welcome to the Absolute Roofing Repmo Basketball pregame show as the Tigers put their unbeaten record on the line on the road on the north side of Springfield at Springfield Hillcrest. They'll take on the Hornets. You heard Coach Tim Brown talk about how they are a hot shooting at times outside shooting team that likes to launch the three. And so that'll be a focus of the defense for Tim Brown and his Tigers tonight. Republic 5-0 for the first time since 2013, and that's a long time ago. Last time that happened, Tigers went on to win a state championship. Not sure if that's gonna be in the cards or not, but can't hurt to be optimistic. That was the second of two consecutive state championship years under coach Trevor Fisher. And hard to believe, I mean, they've had success in the time since then, but have not managed to go 5-0, and partly because, as Tim Brown said, the tournament, um, tournament field in the Republic Invitational is often pretty tough, and so just winning that tournament is an accomplishment. The Tigers don't schedule teams that they can get in there and pound early on. <laughs> there are no guaranteed wins in that field, and... Uh, so a lot of times that takes care of the undefeated record, but they won the tournament this year. They beat Helias before that, and then the win over Clever on the road last week. They've had a week off since then, and so it'll be interesting to see how they respond from that time off as they return to the floor here tonight at Hillcrest. Starting lineups for Republic. At 5-0, Alante Askew, the six-foot sophomore, Carson Neff, Drew McMillan, Avery Moody, and Devin McMillan in the starting lineup for Republic. And I was going to give you Hillcrest starting lineup. I made a note, and then I looked down, and I don't know where I made my note. So somewhere on these sheets of paper, I've got the starters written down. But guess what? I don't know where that is. Oh, wait, there's some paper. All right, now I found it. I put it back in the folder. Cooper Hewitt, a 6'2 sophomore. Prashawn Haggard, a six foot senior. He averaged 20 points a game last year. Savannah Campbell. Nope, I'm looking at the wrong sheet. <laughs> Devin Oliver, a 6'1 junior. Devon Braxton, a 6'4 junior. And Cole Griesmer, a 6'4 sophomore. Those are the starters for the Hornets. We're going to let you listen in as we have the national anthem coming up.
Well, the Tigers and Hornets about set to tip it off. We've already given you the starting lineup, so we'll take a quick break and be back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Basketball on Republic Tiger Sports. With virtual grocery shopping, birthday parties, and even yoga, it seems everyone is doing things virtually. At Cox Health, we have two virtual care options to make it even easier to get the care you need from your home or workplace. Virtual visits on demand to see the first available Cox Health provider and our new virtual visits for primary and specialty care. Now you can schedule a virtual appointment for adult wellness exams and other routine care with a physician you already know and trust. To learn more, visit Cox Health at coxhealth.com. Southern Sun Electric is a proud sponsor of the Classroom Spotlight. They encourage all student athletes not to settle for just good enough on the field, on the court, and in the classroom. Keep pushing yourself to higher levels and go Repmo from Southern Sun Electric. So the starting five again for Hillcrest, Hewitt, Haggard, Oliver, Braxton, and Griesmer. For Republicans, Askew, Neff, McMillan, McMillan, and Moody. And it'll be Moody jumping center for the Tigers. And he kind of used the body to muscle Devon Braxton off the ball and tipped it back to his teammate and the Tigers control. McMillan drives in, has it partially blocked, and the Hornets go the other way quickly. Pulling it back is Cooper Hewitt. Fires it to Oliver. Oliver into the lane and then back out to Haggard. Reverse it near side. Man-to-man -man defense for the Tigers. In the corner. Cole Griesmer's three is no good off the mark. Moody. Chases it out of bounds along with Braxton. Hillcrest fans wanted a foul on Moody. That's the second time that Moody has used his body to get Braxton out of the way. We'll watch it over on the other side after the miss. And the Tigers now in the front court. Floater by McMillan in the lane. Drew McMillan hits the two. And it's 2-0 Tigers. Hewitt guarded by Drew McMillan. Gave it up and then got it back in the corner and pulled it out. Tipped there by Askew. And coming around the backside, Neff knocked it away. Drew McMillan picked it up across the lane to Devin McMillan. The shot is blocked, but a foul called. They say they got him on the body. And two shots coming up for McMillan. And that's two on Braxton. A better look at the action, sponsored by Vision Health Eye Center. Vision Health dedicated to helping you get a better look at everything. Find them online at visionhealthicenter.com. And Braxton with two fouls, the 6'4 junior. Takes an early trip to the bench, and he is not very happy, to say the least. Devin McMillan makes two free throws. It's 4-0 Republic. Good defense by Neff to cut off the baseline. Now a long three is up by Haggard. It's no good. Neff with the board. Askew penetrated and kicked it back out to McMillan. And inside, shot blocked. It's out of bounds and touched by McMillan. So Hillcrest will get it back. the 
into the lane, floating one-hander up and in by Devin Oliver. Banked it off the glass, put it in, and it's 4-2 Republic. McMillan pulls up at the free throw line and floats it in. So the McMillans with all six points for the Tigers and they lead 6-2. Shot out of control, goes out of bounds, touched last by Askew on the defense. from the near side, Griezmann missed it. And so far, Tim Brown said, well, if they get hot, they will start hitting like crazy. And so far they haven't gotten hot. Three minutes in, they've missed a couple. Neff steps to the free throw line and then a little shovel pass underhand to Avery Moody, cutting to the basket. Moody's first points. Blocking foul call against the Tigers. Tipped by Askew, goes out of bounds, couldn't hang on. And so Republic, or rather Hillcrest, will get it back. Into the lane and kicking it back out to Oliver. Oliver puts up a three, he missed it too long. Neff with another board. Hands it to Drew McMillan. And pass around, kind of a wraparound pass down to Avery Moody in the lane. And Moody is hammered. Not a shooting foul, though. That's three team fouls on Hillcrest. McMillan around a pick wide open, hits the three. Drew McMillan with seven points. And Jordan Fielding wants a timeout. Hornets will talk things over, trailing by nine, 11-2 in the early going. We'll take a timeout as well. You're watching Republic Tigers basketball on Republic Tiger Sports. It's easier than ever to get your Rocco's Pizza fix. Place your order on their website at roccositalienkitchen.net or call them with one tap inside the Republic Tiger Sports mobile app. And don't forget dessert because Rocco's is serving homemade ice cream prepared right on site. Rocco's Italian Kitchen. Pizza. Pasta. Perfection. For more than 30 years, Yokum Automotive's been the hometown auto repair shop you can trust. And with their new digital vehicle inspections, their mechanics will show you exactly what's wrong with your car and let you sign off before the repairs are made. Ask about their shuttle service and loaner vehicles when scheduling your appointment online at yokumautomotive.com. Back to action midway through the first quarter, and the Tigers on top. 11 to 2 in the early going. Driving layup is no good, and another rebound for Carson Neff. Neff at 5'10. And he may be the shortest guy on the court. I'm pretty sure he is, yeah. He's got two or three rebounds. Oliver Welch checks in, and Neff checks out. Good start for Carson Neff, and a well-deserved rest over on the sideline. As Krishan Haggard brings it across the timeline. Six-foot senior into the corner for Anthony Keltner. And Keltner hits the three and cuts it to a six-point lead, 11-5. 
McMillan open again from three right in front of the Hillcrest bench, and he drained another one. McMillan has 12 points in the first quarter. Now uh, an answer at the other end. A.J. Collins with the three-pointer, and now both teams starting to heat up. And it's 14-8. McMillan, or rather, Fronabarger to McMillan. Fronabarger checked in without me seeing it, and a driving layup by Drew McMillan. So if you go out and cover him, he's just going to go around you. What can you do? And no call on the foul, and at the other end, Askew challenged and missed the layup, but McMillan will say, I'll take that rebound, and oh, he missed it. But there's Avery Moody to clean up. I knew that was going in, but it didn't. But Moody followed it up, and it is 18-8 Tigers. Long three, Devin Oliver left it short, and McMillan's there to block out. McMillan 5'11", and Griezmer 6'4", and McMillan said, well, you can try and jump over me, but I'm going to make you foul me, and that's what happened. And that's the first foul on Cole Griezmer. Young in for Moody. So Tyson Young and Oliver Welch both in there, along with Fronabarger, Drew McMillan, and a lot to ask you. Even if you think McMillan needs a rest, why take him out now? He's on fire. And Krishan Haggard doing his best to stay on him, but that means wide open is Tyson Young for the three. So they were so concentrated on McMillan that Tyson Young was open from the arc. Spin move and a walk, I think, yep. Into the lane went Anthony Keltner, and as he tried to reverse direction, he moved the pivot foot. And so a 21-8 lead for Republic with 114 left. And Drew McMillan with a fantastic first quarter. Alante Askew with the underhand layup, up and in. First bucket for Askew, nice move. Under a minute to go, and the lead is 15, 23 to 8. And another walk. Keltner again stopped dribbling and picked up the back foot. You watch as he drives in, and then mm, that back foot moved and can't do that. Tigers will hold it for one shot leading, 23 to eight. Fronabarger almost threw it into the backcourt. McMillan reached over and grabbed it. Dumps it to Askew, Askew one bounce to Fronabarger, now back to Askew, a long three is away, it is short. And a rebound by Hillcrest and a foul by Oliver Welch. Welch gave one too many reaches and slaps there as he went after the ball. If he had stopped before the last one, I think he'd have been okay. Four seconds left. Tim Brown sends his defense down to challenge and make them work to get it up. I don't think that shot got off, and it didn't matter. Almost went in, but not quite. And we come to the end of the one quarter, and it is all Republic so far, 23-8. to eight. Tigers in control. We'll take a break and be back with the second quarter after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Elliot Robinson and Company LLP, Certified Public Accountants, is Republic's local full-service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And again this year, they're making possible our Buy the Numbers feature, where we take a look at the stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. ERCPA, named to accounting today's 2020 best accounting firms to work for. You can find them in the Wildwood Plaza across from Pinnegar Chevrolet or online at ERCPA.com. Any day's a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. 
Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. Hey now, Cracker Jack Shack. Cracker Jack Shack has got your back with custom apparel for your club, organization, or business. And they take screen printing to the next level with amazing new software that lets you track your order online from concept to artwork to the finished product. Link it, see it, click it, get it. Only at the Shack. Always on time and right on track. Cracker Jack Shack, we got you back. Cracker Jack Shack. Second quarter begins. Hillcrest gets the ball first, trailing 23-8. to 12 points in the first quarter for Drew McMillan, four for Avery Moody, three for Tyson Young, two for Devin McMillan and Alate Askew. And it was three apiece for Anthony Kelter, Keltner and A.J. Collins, two for Devin Oliver for the Hornets. Baseline drive, pass to the near side, and then back in the corner to an open Jaquan Carr who missed the shot. Long pass up court to Welch, who couldn't handle it. I think he got a hand in his face. Cooper Hewitt, kind of like a defensive back, got the hand up and distracted him. And the ball went out of bounds. So back to Hillcrest. Second quarter scoreboard sponsor, Destiny Church. Pursuing God, loving life. That's Destiny Church. Find them online at destinychurch.me. Sean Haggard is fouled by Oliver Welch. Welch tried to draw the charge. It didn't happen. McMillan will check in, and Welch checks out. That's two on Oliver Welch. And you can see that's five team fouls on Republic, four on Hillcrest. Into the lane. Nice underhanded pass, but they couldn't connect. And Drew McMillan comes away with it. Two on three and forced it to Devin McMillan, but out off of the Hornets. Kronenberger, bounce pass to Devin McMillan. Drew McMillan open at the top of the arc and he missed it off the back iron. Hillcrest with the rebound for Sean Haggard. Up ahead to Devin Oliver. Bounces it into the lane a couple times. Missed the shot. And Fraunabarger pulls down the board. To McMillan. To Askew. Back to McMillan. Fires it across to Fraunabarger. And then McMillan in the corner to Askew. His three is short. Tipped once. Tipped twice. And tracked down by Drew McMillan. McMillan's about 30 feet away from the bucket, and watch out, he's going to shoot if you're not careful. In the corner to Young, back to McMillan. Drew the defense, and then fired to Fraunabarger for a three. Will Fraunabarger's first points. And it is an 18-point lead, 26-8. to eight. And a walk, I think. Yep, travel. Trying to back down in was Cole Griesmer, and he forgot to dribble the ball as he was doing it. So under six to go in the half, and it is 26 to eight. Republic led 11 to two, then 18 to eight. Now 26 to eight, so eight straight points by the Tigers. Free throw line, Devin McMillan, high-low action to Askew. Back out to Fraunabarger. Another three is up, too long. Tipped by Young, couldn't quite get to it. And then off the fingertips of Askew, back to Hillcrest. Haggard puts up the three, and he drained it. For Sean Haggard, first points. And it's 26-11. That ends an 8-0 run. No look pass from Askew to Young and a little too tricky there as it went out of bounds. Long three is no good. That one was by Krishan Haggard. And only 
four field goals in the game so far for Hillcrest. Shot fake, fade away, no good by McMillan. And he's gone a little bit cold after that red hot start. They throw it on the arc to AJ Collins. He hits his second three of the night, has six points. And that's six straight for the Hornets. Devin McMillan gives it back to Neff. And Askew is going to take a running one-hander, driving into the lane. Nice move by Askew. At the other end, foul on the floor against the Tigers. Second foul on Elante Askew. 14 fouls on Republic. Put back is no good and Neff with the board. Shot is off the mark by Neff. And a rebound to Hillcrest. And there's a charge. Haggard went in. And committed his first personal. Good defense by the Tigers. Nice look in the lane, and Moody off the mark. And a walk at the other end by Hillcrest. A little pressure by the Hornets in the backcourt. McMillan's going to take it up just short of the timeline and then fires it up ahead to Moody, and then he tried to hit Devin McMillan breaking under the basket, but couldn't quite corral it. And now Tim Brown wants to talk things over. Doesn't like the way things are going for his Tigers with 2.50 left to go in the half. We'll take a timeout as well and be back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Basketball on Republic Tiger Sports. Destiny Church is a proud sponsor of Republic Tiger Sports, and they would love to have you join them in person at 526 East Harrison behind McAllister's, Sunday at 9 a.m. or 10.45. There's also a Wednesday youth service for grades 6 to 12. Doors open at 6. Service begins at 6.30. You can find them on Facebook and Instagram or online at destinychurch.me. Tigers will be back in action on Friday. They travel to Bolivar. We'll have that one live as well. So you can watch as the Tigers take on one of the best teams in the area, one of the best programs in what has turned into one of the best rivalries in the area, even the, between non-conference teams anyway. They have played some great games over the last decade. And they'll go at it again from Bolivar on Friday night, and you can watch it live right here. Into the lane, Carr gave it up, and a three near side is no good. Missing everything was Devin Oliver. Drew McMillan brings it up court. Going to take it into the middle of the defense, and I think we've got a charge. I don't think that uh, the, I don't think the official underneath was going to call a charge, but he kind of changed his mind. You could, his hands went to his hips like he was sort of subtly trying to say, "Hey, that's a." You should call a charge out there. You're going to call a charge, right? And the official on the outside was not thinking it was a charge. And he took control, and that's the way it went. And now we've got a whistle. And I'm not sure what's up. I think we may have been having... Uh, a little talk with Tim Brown, who was hot about that play. 
And about that call, so I think uh, one of the officials just wanted to say, hey, let's calm things down. And a block by Devin McMillan. Back the other way goes Drew McMillan into the lane and puts it up with one hand and in. No charge that time, and a bucket for McMillan. First points of the quarter for McMillan, and then a turnover by A.J. Collins as he turned it over, literally, on his way to the basket. And it's a 16-point lead again for Republic, 30-14. to 14. Avery Moody bounces it to Franabarger. And then to Neff, and the Tigers spread it out a little bit. We're going to see if they can get an easy path to the bucket. And maybe get a shooter free like that. McMillan off the pick, left it short. Rebound, Devin Oliver. Up ahead, intercepted by Franabarger. Came out of nowhere. And Franabarger throws it to McMillan. Drew to Devin. Devin McMillan backs it out on the dribble, throws it back to his older brother. 115 left to go on the half. Frontabarger drives baseline in the middle to Devin or to Avery Moody. Now Drew McMillan took it to the middle and then backed it out again. Under a minute to go in the half. Tigers up by 16. Frontabarger is fouled by A.J. Collins. That is 16 fouls. And so the Tigers will throw it in on the sideline with 50 seconds left to go. All the way across court to Drew McMillan. And then all the way back across court to Neff. Then to McMillan in front of the Hillcrest bench. And he swished it from 25. Drew McMillan. Five in the quarter, 17 in the half. Got away with another travel. And now Devin Oliver back to Haggard. Haggard spins between defenders, double dips it, and missed it. That was a good move, all except the ending when the ball didn't go in the basket. Up until then, it was fantastic. 19.4 seconds left. Rashawn Haggard lobs it in, and then Devin Oliver has it. I think they're going to try and get it back to Haggard, so he's got it in his hands as time winds down. Down under 10 seconds. He'll just pull up from three, and it was too long. There's time to get up court if they hurry. Four seconds left. McMillan ahead. Devin McMillan missed the shot. Good look by Drew to Devin. But the last shot wouldn't fall. And after Hillcrest had cut it down to 12, Republic rattled off seven straight to end the half, and they lead it 33-14 to 14 here at halftime. We'll take a break and be back with our Gold Medal Gems halftime show after this timeout. You're watching Tiger Basketball on Republic Tiger Sports. Gold Medal Gyms is where Republic athletes build a foundation for future success. Whether it's gymnastics, cheerleading, or tumbling, young athletes learn skills that prepare them to take on virtually any sport they choose. Sign up for your free trial at their gorgeous facility at Highway 60 and Highway M. Gold Medal Gyms, raising the bar for Republic athletics. Heady Barbecue Company is home to great barbecue, including the famous Pig Nasty Sandwich. They're also home to our Repmo football show every Wednesday night. Go in and check them out or call them for takeout at 732-4BBQ. New York Life agent Michael Weeks is a proud sponsor of Republic Tiger Sports and a supporter of all Republic students on the field and off. If you have financial questions, call him at 417-831-5230. Thanks to New York Life agent Michael Weeks for his support of Republic Tiger Sports. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. Vision Health Eye Center. Outstanding eye care. Exceptional eyewear. From glasses, prescriptions, and contact lens fittings to emergency eye care, they help your family see, feel, and look better than they ever have before. Check them out online at visionhealthicenter.com. 
Super Clean Car Wash is Republic's newest and best car wash, conveniently located right on Highway 60. And with their monthly memberships, it's easier than ever to keep your car clean with a quick stop on your way home from work. Super Clean Car Wash on Highway 60 in Republic. Teamwear Solutions is not only your source for official Tiger apparel, but they're also a partner for your group's fundraising needs. Business apparel, bleacher apparel, and on-field apparel, they've got you covered. Find them online at TeamwearSolutions.com. Back on the gold medal gym's halftime show where the Tigers lead it 33 to 14. It was 23 to eight at the end of the first quarter. Tigers cooled off, but the Hornets didn't really take advantage in the second quarter. Republic outscored Hillcrest 10 to six in the second quarter to account for that 33 to 14 lead. For Hillcrest, they were led by A.J. Collins, who had a couple of three-pointers. A three-pointer as well for Anthony Keltner, and one for Krishan Haggard. Two points for Devin Oliver, and that is the extent of the scoring for Hillcrest, with 14 points. For Republic, they are led by Drew McMillan with 17. He had 12 in the first quarter, and then went cold for about a six-minute stretch in the second quarter. Got hot again right before half, poured in another five, and so he's got 17 at halftime. Kind of a smattering of scoring from everybody else on the team. Three for Will Fronabarger, three for Tyson Young, four for Avery Moody, two for Devin McMillan, and two for Alante Askew. And I am missing two points. So I've compared to the scoreboard, and uh, whoever has the missing points was not out there as halftime arrived because I match all the points on the scoreboard so far. Already mentioned, we've got another live broadcast coming up for the Tigers on Friday night. That one will be from Bolivar, and that should be a good one. And then next week, Tigers will be off the week before Christmas, but... The Lady Tigers have one more game to play, and it should be a doozy against Springfield Kickapoo. And we'll have that one live as well next week. So two really good games coming up live on Republic Tiger Sports over the next week as we gear up for the holiday tournaments. 33-14, the halftime score. We're going to take another timeout and be back with more after this on our Gold Medal Gym's halftime show on Republic Tiger Sports. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. Not only can Hines Street Pharmacy deliver prescriptions right to your door and often save you money compared to what you're paying at big box pharmacies, their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, and now they're offering curbside flu shots. Hines Street Pharmacy. Experience the hometown difference. Henniger Chevrolet is proud we continue to serve Springfield and Southwest Missouri as we have for over 40 years. The Henniger Chevrolet family treat each of our customers like family and exceed every expectation, not only in the large selection of new Chevrolets on the lot, but also the quality of pre-owned vehicles to fit any budget. Whether you need a new vehicle, have your serviced, or need some body repair, pick Henniger every time. Find new roads in Republic or online at PennigerChevrolet.com. 
State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast, but you also want one who'll do the job right. In the Republic area, that's far better plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call Far Better and let them take away the stress of your plumbing problem. Call them at 864-8703 or find them online at farbetterplumbing.com. Central Gas Propane is locally owned and operated and offers exceptional customer service when you need it most. They go the extra mile to meet their customers' needs with a level of service and communication that no other company can beat. Call today to switch and save Central Gas Propane at 417-725-3833 or online at centralgasmo.com. I'm Todd Wojciechowski, Executive Vice President at People's Community Bank. Our mission is to put our communities first, and that's true right here in Republic. Whether it's supporting Republic schools or volunteering for one of the nonprofits doing good work in our hometown, all of us at People's Community Bank are committed to making Republic a better place to live. I hope you'll stop in soon and say hi. People's Community Bank, right on Highway 60. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. With virtual grocery shopping, birthday parties, and even yoga, it seems everyone is doing things virtually. At Cox Health, we have two virtual care options to make it even easier to get the care you need from your home or workplace. Virtual visits on demand to see the first available Cox Health provider and our new virtual visits for primary and specialty care. Now you can schedule a virtual appointment for adult wellness exams and other routine care with a physician you already know and trust. To learn more, visit Cox Health at coxhealth.com. Back on the Gold Medal Gym's halftime show, 33-14 lead for the Tigers. And they've been in control pretty much from the start. They jumped out to an 11-2 lead and trying to go to 6-0. It was a 9-0 start for the Tigers back the last time they were 5-0. They ended up winning their first nine games and went into the blue and gold. I believe they lost to Nixa in the blue and gold to end that perfect start. And if the Tigers hold on here and then could grab a win at Bolivar, they'll be into the blue and gold undefeated again this year. And then it would be, uh, I guess they'd be 7-0 and at that point. And so they'd be, if they got to 9-0, and they'd be in the semifinals of the blue and gold. at 9-0 if they could keep this string alive. We're just about ready to go here in the third quarter. And our third quarter scoreboard sponsor is Destiny Church. Pursuing God, loving life, that's Destiny Church. Find them online at destinychurch.me. And the Tigers will get the ball first to start the third quarter. Both McMillans, Carson Neff, Alante Askew, and Avery Moody on the floor for the Tigers. And Moody split the defense, got him up in the air, and went to the bucket. And he will shoot two free throws. And a good start to the half for Avery Moody and the Tigers. First free throw good by Avery Moody. Moody's got five. And now he's got six. That's nine in a row scored by Republic. And I think a push off, nope, a walk. Could have been a push off on Devin Oliver, but after he did that, he took an extra step and got called for the travel. 
And Hillcrest will try to trap. Askew will pass out of it. Neff back to Askew. And the Tigers back into the half-court set. Askew almost backed up all the way to the line and took it all the way to the rack and laid it in. And a blocking foul and a chance for a three-point play by the Hornets. So Oliver has four now and a chance to make it five. And that ends an 11-0 run by Republic. Free throw no good, but a rebound to Hillcrest. And out of bounds to the Tigers. McMillan stops in the lane, fires it to Askew, and then to Neff, then in the corner to Devin McMillan. Gives it up to Drew. Drew around a pick from Moody. Couldn't get the separation, now he does. Gets in front of his man, but then cut off. Good help defense by the Hornets. Neff dumps it to Moody and then to McMillan on the wing. Devin McMillan rises up and hits a 15-footer. Five points for Devin McMillan. And now a three from the corner is no good. Bounced around. I thought it was going to fall through. And a lob up ahead from Drew to Devin McMillan on the run. Up and in. Nice look from Drew to Devin McMillan. And the ball blocked from behind. Devin McMillan again. Askew's going to take it all the way and lay it off the glass and in. And it is 39 or rather 43 to 16. Nice look across the lane, a little hook pass to Devon Braxton, who has his first two points. And it's Askew has eight on the scoreboard, and I think that might have been the two I was missing. He wasn't on the scoreboard at halftime. Step back three is no good by Devin McMillan. Neff with the follow, couldn't get it to go. Tipped around a couple of times. Moody gets it. Askew gives up a three, and then he is fouled on his way to the basket. 43-18, a 25-point lead for the Tigers with 4.52 left to go in the third quarter. And the foul is on Devon, or rather Devin Oliver, right next to Devon Braxton on the roster. Alante Askew. And then Devin McMillan passed up a three and said threw it to Moody. Out of Drew McMillan. Takes it to about 15 feet away and hits the jumper. Up and in for Drew McMillan. Has 19 points now. Jump stop in the lane, no good. Griezmann did everything but get it to fall. Almost a foul committed by Krishan Haggard in the backcourt. But now Askew is gonna bring it up across the timeline. McMillan around to pick. Dumps it to Moody, and too far under the basket. Couldn't get it to go. Haggard looks to run. Takes it all the way in. Spins around. Nice move by Krishan Haggard to finish. And he's fouled. Foul on McMillan. A nifty finish by Krishan Haggard. Spun and somehow got it to go. That better look at the action, sponsored by Vision Health Eye Center. Vision Health dedicated to helping you get a better look at everything. Find them online at visionhealthicenter.com. 
three in the quarter and six of the game for Krishan Haggard. Now Tyson Young will take a three, missed it, but Oliver Welch in the game now got the rebound, and he gets fouled and goes to the free throw line. Nothing but net for Oliver Welch, his first free throw and his first point of the night. Second free throw good for Welch. Haggard's three is off the mark. Too long. Good pass up court from Askew to Young, who was defended well and missed the shot, but then a takeaway by Welch. Nice no-look pass to Drew McMillan across the lane for the layup. And a three at the other end is good. That was Jaquan Carr with the three-pointer. First points for him. It's 49-24. And we were, we'll take a quick break as we've got a timeout on the floor. 49-24. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Southern Sun Electric is a proud sponsor of the Classroom Spotlight. They encourage all student athletes not to settle for just good enough on the field, on the court, and in the classroom. Keep pushing yourself to higher levels and go Repmo from Southern Sun Electric. Hillcrest is going to press. Andrew McMillan will take the inbound pass, and now Hillcrest drops back. McMillan stop and go dribble, drew the double team, and then hit Avery Moody cutting to the basket. Driving layup, and no good. I think maybe Moody got a hand on that. Three on two for the Tigers. Nice no-look pass from Askew down to Welch. Tried to throw it to Young. Got knocked away. Tracks it down in the corner. Now to Moody. Over to McMillan for three. No good. Bounces up off the top of the backboard. Almost intercepted by Drew McMillan. And A.J. Collins takes it the other way for the Hornets. Tried to thread the needle. Hand got in the way. McMillan's going to lay it in off the glass. Drew McMillan has six in the quarter and 23 in the game. Two minutes left in the third quarter. And it is a 29-point lead for the Tigers. 53-24. Three is no good. Weak side rebound, Askew. Bounces it ahead to McMillan. Drew McMillan to Askew. Gives up the three and then the holding foul against Jaquan Carr who reached in as Askew was about to drive right by him. Frontebarger and Dalton Parks check in. Askew and Moody and Drew McMillan check out. Somebody else must have checked in that I didn't see. Young, Askew, Parks. Welch and Bronneberger. Could have sworn that three guys went to the bench and two came on, but one of those guys, I guess, wasn't out there already. Welch bodied all the way in and then is called for a walk. He would probably tell you that he was fouled, but the official saw it differently. A.J. Collins, now they swing it to the far side. Three is up by Anthony Keltner, no good. Welch with the rebound. He'll dribble it into the front court. Guarded by Keltner. 
Gives it up to Askew with 108 left in the third quarter. Askew, right around the defense, lays it up with the right hand and in. Running one-hander is good by A.J. Collins. And a foul as Askew was taking it to the basket one more time. Cole Griesmer checks in. Anthony Keltner checks out for the Hornets. So it's 55-26. 29-point lead. And if it gets to 30, the clock will run continuously. If it stays above 30 in the fourth quarter. Hesitation dribble by Askew and pulls it back out with 13 seconds left. And they'll hold it and put it in just ahead of the buzzer. No, they won't because a foul on the floor. Called on Devon Braxton. Three fouls on Braxton, I believe. Nope, A.J. Collins, 22, not 20. I think the official held up the wrong fingers there on the uniform number because the scores table also had it wrong. Long three by Askew, rattles in and goes. And it's 58-26, three is just short, no good. And we come to the end of the third quarter. It's 58-26, Tigers, we'll take a break and be back with the fourth quarter after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. It's easier than ever to get your Rocco's Pizza fix. Place your order on their website at roccositalienkitchen.net or call them with one tap inside the Republic Tiger Sports mobile app. And don't forget dessert because Rocco's is serving homemade ice cream prepared right on site. Rocco's Italian Kitchen. Pizza. Pasta. Perfection. For more than 30 years, Yokum Automotive has been the hometown auto repair shop you can trust. And with their new digital vehicle inspections, their mechanics will show you exactly what's wrong with your car and let you sign off before the repairs are made. Ask about their shuttle service and loaner vehicles when scheduling your appointment online at yokomautomotive.com. Elliot Robinson & Company LLP Certified Public Accountants is Republic's local full-service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And again this year, they're making possible our Buy the Numbers feature, where we take a look at the stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. ERCPA, named to Accounting Today's 2020 Best Accounting Firms to Work For. You can find them in the Wildwood Plaza across from Pinnegar Chevrolet or online at ERCPA.com. Fourth quarter underway. Our fourth quarter scoreboard sponsor is Absolute Roofing. Thanks to Mike Bansker and the team at Absolute Roofing for his longtime support of Republic Tiger Sports. And an illegal screen called on Hillcrest right off the bat. Clock running continuously here in the fourth quarter now, a 32-point lead for the Tigers, and what a third quarter it was. They outscored Hillcrest 25-12 to in the third quarter. Alante Askew with 13 points, and a three up and good by Fronneberger. And Fronneberger has six on a couple of three-pointers. 61-26. Foul on Fronneberger, shot no good by Griesmer. He'll go to the line as the clock continues to run. 35-point lead for Republic. First free throw, no good. Neff is in, and Askew is out. And I believe Askew probably done for the night, as is Drew McMillan. McMillan, 23. Askew, 13. 
Griezmer missed both free throws and a rebound to Dalton Parks. And Franneberger will bring it up court. Franneberger, Welch, Young, Parks, and Neff, the five on the floor for Republic. Welch into the lane, double pump, fouled on the way in. He'll go to the line, trying to build on a 25-point lead for Republic. Well, it was a, gonna be a late night with three games and the freshman starting at five, but this looks like it's gonna be an exactly eight minute fourth quarter. Should speed things right along. And the first free throw was good. Second one good as well for Oliver Welch. And he's got four points. Three rolled around, spun all the way around the rim and didn't go down. And Republic with the rebound then knocked out of bounds by Hillcrest. So the Tigers get it back. Tigers on a 14 to two run right now. They've had a few of those. They started the game with an 11 to run. And now a takeaway by Hillcrest across the lane to Haggard. Missed the shot. Krishan Haggard will go to the line after drawing the foul. The difference in how annoying a foul is in the fourth quarter in a lopsided game the big difference is whether it's a 29-point lead or a 31-point lead. Nothing wrong with a foul if it's above 30 and that clock keeps running. Haggard with the free throw, made it. And Krishan Haggard has seven points. And now he's got eight. At the other end, Jaquan Carr is guarding Franneberger. He is tripped up, blocking foul called on the Hornets. So Franneberger working on a six point night. Eyes the first one and hits nothing but net. 5'11 juniors had a nice season so far. And we're going to have uh, mass substitutions. Gavin Beckner, Gunnar Ellison, McCord Deacon will all check in for the Tigers. Tyson Young, Carson Neff, and Oliver Welch are done for the night. Bronneberger hit that second free throw, so he ended up with eight points. Nice night for... Franneberger, that may be a career high for him at the varsity level. Three off the mark, but a rebound by Mike Floyd. Another three is up, no good, and boy, as, as good as Hillcrest can be from the three-point line, they have not been very good tonight. Beckner on the wing. Both the Tigers football quarterbacks on the basketball team. Avery Moody. And Gavin Beckner now out there. Beckner mostly sees JV action, but getting a little bit of varsity action tonight. And Franneberger tried to dump it down to McCord Deacon. It was intercepted by Mike Floyd. And then Devin Oliver is gonna take it all the way to the other end. Miss it, but Gunnar Ellison with the rebound. Under two minutes to go, Franneberger, and a foul called on the Hornets. That's Jaquan Carr, whistled for the foul, three on him. And back to the line goes Will Franneberger. 
So I said he was done. I guess he did not check out. I thought he was one of the three that checked out. So he's got a chance for double digits. And he has nine. One more free throw for Will Fronneberger. Four for four from the line now. And ten points for Will Fronneberger. Two-pointer, no good. Goes out of bounds, back to the Tigers. 47 seconds left to go. And the Hillcrest students start to file their way to the exit. And they're doing construction in the parking lot, so it's about a 10-mile hike to where you can park. I don't know what they're doing in the parking lot because it was dark when I pulled in, but yeah, there's a construction zone between the parking spaces and the building. 24 seconds left. Ellison takes it at the free throw line. Nice bounce pass to a cutting Parks. Puts it up and in. So Dalton Parks gets in the scorebook and an assist and a rebound for Gunnar Ellison. In limited time here at the end, and the game ends, and it is a big win for the Tigers. Final score, 69-28. We'll take a break and be back to wrap things up after this. You're watching Tiger Basketball on Republic Tiger Sports. It's easier than ever to get your Rocco's Pizza fix. Place your order on their website at RoccosItalianKitchen.net or call them with one tap inside the Republic Tiger Sports mobile app. And don't forget dessert because Rocco's is serving homemade ice cream prepared right on site. Rocco's Italian Kitchen. Pizza. Pasta. Perfection. For more than 30 years, Yokum Automotive's been the hometown auto repair shop you can trust. And with their new digital vehicle inspections, their mechanics will show you exactly what's wrong with your car and let you sign off before the repairs are made. Ask about their shuttle service and loaner vehicles when scheduling your appointment online at yokumautomotive.com. Elliot Robinson and Company LLP, Certified Public Accountants, is Republic's local full-service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And again this year, they're making possible our Buy the Numbers feature, where we take a look at the stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. ERCPA, named to Accounting Today's 2020 Best Accounting Firms to Work For. You can find them in the Wildwood Plaza across from Pinnegar Chevrolet or online at ERCPA.com. Any day's a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. Hey now, Cracker Jack Shack. Cracker Jack Shack has got your back with custom apparel for your club, organization, or business. And they take screen printing to the next level with amazing new software that lets you track your order online from concept to artwork to the finished product. Link it, see it, click it, get it. Only at the Shack. Always on time and right on track. Cracker Jack Shack, we got you back. Cracker Jack Shack. Destiny Church is a proud sponsor of Republic Tiger Sports, and they would love to have you join them in person at 526 East Harrison behind McAllister's, Sunday at 9 a.m. or 1045. There's also a Wednesday youth service for grades 6 to 12. Doors open at 6. Service begins at 630. You can find them on Facebook and Instagram or online at destinychurch.me. Gold Medal Gyms is where Republic athletes build a foundation for future success. Whether it's gymnastics, cheerleading, or tumbling, young athletes learn skills that prepare them to take on virtually any sport they choose. Sign up for your free trial at their gorgeous facility at Highway 60 and Highway M. Gold Medal Gyms, raising the bar for Republic athletics. Elliot Robinson and Company LLP, Certified Public Accountants, is Republic's local. Eddie Barbecue Company is home to great barbecue, including the famous Pig Nasty Sandwich. They're also home to our Repmo football show every Wednesday night. Go in and check them out or call them for takeout at 732-4BBQ. New York Life agent Michael Weeks is a proud sponsor of Republic Tiger Sports and a supporter of all Republic students on the field and off. If you have financial questions, call them at 417-831-5230. Thanks to New York Life agent Michael Weeks for his support of Republic Tiger Sports. New York.
Back at Hillcrest, the Tigers are winners tonight. Final score was 69-28. It was 23-8 at the end of the first quarter, 33-14 at halftime, 58-26 at the end of three, and the final 69-28. Tigers in the second half outscored the Hornets 36-14 to pull away for the 41-point win. We're going to take one more quick break and be back with individual scoring to wrap things up after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. Vision Health Eye Center. Outstanding eye care. Exceptional eyewear. From glasses, prescriptions, and contact lens fittings to emergency eye care, they help your family see, feel, and look better than they ever have before. Check them out online at visionhealtheyecenter.com. Super Clean Car Wash is Republic's newest and best car wash, conveniently located right on Highway 60. And with their monthly memberships, it's easier than ever to keep your car clean with a quick stop on your way home from work. Super Clean Car Wash on Highway 60 in Republic. Teamwear Solutions is not only your source for official Tiger apparel, but they're also a partner for your group's fundraising needs. Business apparel, bleacher apparel, and on-field apparel. They've got you covered. Find them online at TeamwearSolutions.com. Back at Hillcrest, Tigers win at 69-28. They were led by Drew McMillan's 23 points, 13 for Alante Askew, 10 for Will Fraunabarger, 8 for Avery Moody, 7 for Devin McMillan, 3 for Tyson Young, 4 for Oliver Welch, and 2 for Dalton Parks. Hillcrest led by Krishan Haggard, but Republic held him to only 8 points tonight. 4 points for Devin Oliver. Three for Anthony Keltner. Devon Braxton had a couple. Ten points, or rather eight points for A.J. Collins as well. So he was a co-leader in scoring. And Braxton, or rather Jaquan Carr had three points for the Hornets also. Tigers improved to 6-0, and and they will try to make it 7-0 and Friday night when they travel to Bolivar. We'll have that one live right here on Republic Tiger Sports. Final score once again here tonight. Republic 69, Hillcrest 28. For Jack Cook, I'm David Brazil. Thanks for watching Tiger Basketball on Republic Tiger Sports.